Hi. What are we doing at the grocery at 10.44 p.m. at night? Oh, well, we'll show you. So we are at our local grocery store, the one we've always come to. And if you know our show, we, you know we have in Cincinnati the International Food Market, which we can get just about anything British um, and Irish and German. But today we didn't need to go that far. No, we didn't. Today we came to our local grocery store because we didn't even realize that we have certain things here that we kind of need. And we're doing a certain video today, which requires something. Well, let me just quickly show you a couple of the items that we're having here. We were just talking about how we don't have custard. So guess what we get to have now? Haha. -ha. Also, Branston pickle. We still have not tried that yet. We also got HP sauce, Heinz salad cream. Yeah, we'll be talking about Heinz today. Some Ribena. And we also have, try not to make you dizzy, some baby jars of Marmite. And what we came here for, which is what, Debs? Heinz beans. Yes. We were out and we needed them for our video today. So we stopped in to get some. And not just our video, but for Debbie's lunch, breakfast, like and dinner. Them. So we're going to grab our beans and we're going to get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. Hey. Hey, hi. Welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hello. That's brutal. Just, just two patriotic girls. So please don't take us the wrong way. We're, we're here. We're back. We're home. It's like, okay, we're ready to do this. Okay. Hi, welcome to the Natasha and Debbie show. Hi. <clears throat> ready? Yeah, I'm good. All right. We so, got, we got our, sorry, we got our, we got our beans. We do. We're going to save those till after we're done filming. <sighs> Rushing to get back here to do this video because we don't want to keep you guys waiting. That's right. So that's what we're going to do today. Today's video is. So we're going to compare U.S. and U.K. Heinz products. So this video is done by the Food Wars guys. And if you don't know already, if you haven't seen it, go back way back. Mm -hmm. um, we did their um, comparison between the U.K. and the U.S. McDonald's. So. Yes. Check that one out if you haven't seen it. And before we start, you know it's coming. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like this video and please consider subscribing. All right, so we're gonna check out the US versus UK Heinz products. We only know a couple of them and we showed you a couple mm -hmm. of those just a second ago. So um, I will start off by saying this before we get into it. I hate ketchup with a passion. She does. I like piccolo and I need to get some more for- Yeah, we have to go back to- Whenever summer comes around. We have to go back to the international market for that. But yes. Let's head into this video and check out the US first UK Heinz products. From calorie counts to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Heinz products in the UK and the US. Ooh, there's our this gravy. is Food Wars. Why? Heinz is best known for its ketchup. Did that say seven pounds? That was a lot of ketchup. Why does anyone need that much ketchup? <laughs> in the UK, it comes in the following bottle sizes. 250 grams, nope. 342 grams, 460 grams, 570 grams, 700 grams, 910 grams, or our largest size, a 1.35 kilogram bottle. I did also find a one kilogram bottle online and I ordered some, but unfortunately it was stolen from the lobby of our building. So just- Nice. What about that picture seems weird to you? And interesting at the same time? And some are upside down and some stand up straight. And, nope. Um, Those are squeeze bottles. I don't know. Seriously? Look at the 12 ounce bottle or the 342 gram bottle. Okay. That looks like glass. Old school glass bottles. We yes. don't have any more. No, like, unless don't. you're at a restaurant. That you guys still the glass bottles? That would be nice. We don't have those anymore. I love smacking them on the, on the bottom. Oh, I always loved when I was a kid waiting 25 minutes <laughs> to get this much ketchup out of the glass. Just imagine it, Beth. Heinz ketchup in the See? U.S. No also glass. comes in a variety no. of sizes. Down at the end here, we got the 14 ounce bottle. Then we go up to a 20 ounce seven bottle. pound container. A 32 ounce bottle, 38 ounce bottle, and the big juggy guy, 114 ounces. Why? What? Wow. <laughs> this can't be for like a family. I guess if you mm. just like dipping. More like a restaurant. And think. your fingers directly in there. Some families like a lot of ketchup. Nice. Not that much. Mm. That's insanity. Apparently one serving size for ketchup in the UK is 15 grams, which means that this bottle contains 90 servings. We're going to measure that out and see if it seems realistic. Serving's too much. <laughs> so according to Heinz in the UK, that's one serving of ketchup. That maybe looks like a bit really? less than what I might normally have with my meal if I was having, say, chips or something else which required dipping, nope. but not too bad. 
The US serving size is one tablespoon, which Heinz says is 17 grams of ketchup. Let's take a look at that right now. Got to do this. You want to get that ketchup water that comes out first? Yeah, yeah. That's the worst thing that's in the gross. world. You don't do this, yeah. get that ketchup water. It's like, well, that's ruined. Oh, it's like- Mustard does that too, though. Oh, 10, 13. <laughs> this is like when you're getting gas, and you want to get the exact dollar amount. <laughs> right on. I've been training for this my whole life. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> 17 grams of ketchup. That means that this 114 ounce jug contains 190 servings. Okay, this is some stuff I want to see. Here are all the Heinz products from the UK that you won't find in the US. Oh, we finally really? have. Defer back to the beginning of this video. Yeah, we did find it. Way more than America. Come on. And here are all the Heinz products in the US you won't find in the UK. Do they have more than us? I feel like we have more. Let's find out. Uh -huh. In the UK, we can get two exclusive varieties of ketchup. We can get ketchup with 50% less added sugar and salt, as well as ketchup with no added sugar and salt. And these are exclusives here in the US because we have them singularly a no salt added and a no sugar added. Mm. Some of the exclusive ketchups we have are jalapeno ketchup. There's a lot. Ooh, a sriracha flavored ketchup. Oh, I would try that one. Ooh. Nice Not bad, spicy. but just tastes more garlicky than anything else. Hot and spicy Tabasco ketchup. Okay. Also, we have ketchup with a blend of veggies. Kids approved, I mean, I'm assuming this is to trick kids into eating more vegetables. I mean, it's better than none, right? No. I'm curious. <laughs> it's not. Ew. It tastes exactly like ketchup, which is good, right? No. You're trying to trick kids into eating vegetables? This is it. You can also get simple tomato ketchup with no artificial sweeteners and tomato ketchup sweetened only with honey. Not available at the time of filming this segment. What the UK might lack in exclusive ketchup options, we make up for with our mayonnaise. Over here, we can get light mayonnaise. The existence of light mayo implies the existence no, of a forbidden a dark fat. mayo. So <laughs> this is what I love in place of ketchup and I use for everything is mayonnaise. Yes. I love mayonnaise. I, I only need two condiments in my life. Mayonnaise and salt. Nothing else. I'm good with that and I don't need anything else. You are pretty good with just that. I like to mix it up with different things. Oh, I know you do. You're more adventurous in that regard, but I like things simple and just fattening and salty. <laughs> We have a oh, vegan mayo option. Our other vegan options include this vegan chili mayo, as well as this vegan mayo huh. slash garlic aioli. Then we have some seriously good mayo options, including this garlic and caramelized onion one. No. As well as this rich and creamy truffle mayo. What? I don't like how they've had to create a fancy brand of mayo. I feel Talk like to us about this truffle mayo because... Are you know. considering? No, 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 I'm just kind of curious. Like nobody <laughs> should be too good for mayo. If you think you're too good for mayo, you're wrong. He's correct. The Heinz website also advertised a lemon and black pepper mayo, which unfortunately I couldn't find anywhere. Oh. The mustard option you get in the US exclusively are the 100% natural spicy brown mm -hmm. mustard. Good stuff. A Heinz 100% natural honey mustard. Yeah. And of course, organic. Yellow mustard. The least of my favorite. Heinz sells two types of mustard in the UK, a mild mustard and a honey mustard, but they were strangely hard to track down. Hmm. I did find the mild mustard online, but that was also one of the things stolen along with our ketchup, <laughs> so enjoy that as well. Wow. Barbecue sauces. USA, we love our barbecue. We love our barbecue we do. sauces. The first one is the Carolina mustard style, sweet mustard barbecue sauce. I'm like stoked for this. When these, when these arrive, I was like, hell yeah, I want to try these sauces. Ooh. They don't look good. Fantastic. Yep. We got the Carolina Vinegar style, that looks good. sweet and tangy mm -hmm. barbecue sauce. I like this one too. <laughs> There's a Kansas City style sweet and smoky barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. I could not get at the time of filming this, but I was able to get the original sweet and thick barbecue. Mm -hmm. I mean, barbecue sauce is like the best thing ever. He's gonna be full by the time he's done trying all these. <laughs> I don't know anybody who uses Heinz barbecue sauce though. Like that would be like, as far as barbecue sauce in America, the lowest yeah, grade lower. stuff you would buy, though. Yeah, we, would. we get pretentious with our barbecue sauces. We do. And they can be very expensive. Mm -hmm. Like, we're talking ridiculous money here. Uh, people take that stuff seriously. And a lot of people make their own stuff. Yeah, they do. She's one of them. <laughs> He's just going to eat all Well, they weren't kidding. That is thick. The Texas barbecue sauce. There's more. Bold and spicy. Then no Heinz made Just like these. the state. Love it. Also thick. Oh my goodness. I did this one or this one. These are the two best ones. Oh, I can't decide. That's too Carolina much. or Texas. We only have two Carolina. barbecue sauce options in the UK. A sweet barbecue sauce hmm. and a classic barbecue sauce. I'm not sure how it compares to the original sweet option in the US or how they've managed to kind of isolate those two flavors. I don't think like original slash classic can be a flavor in itself. Vinegars! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Distilled white vinegar, 5% acidity. What does it mean by 5% acidity? Great question. Well, you see, I have no idea. 
Uh, <laughs> then we also got either. the Heinz Gourmet Malt Vinegar. We also have a salad vinegar. Gourmet salad vinegar. Yum. We have a gourmet tarragon vinegar. Ooh. <laughs> All natural apple cider vinegar. Yeah, good stuff. A organic, unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother. Question mark, question mark, really? question mark. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Uh, we have a Heinz all natural, multi purpose, extra strength vinegar with a 6% acidity. And of course, the Heinz imported balsamic vinegar from Modena. Well, in the UK, Heinz just has malt vinegar, which I couldn't find today, but it does go great on your fish and chips. We have got so many gravies. Gravy, mm -hmm. as I know it, you pour it on. Okay, we're going to be honest about this. For Thanksgiving with our turkey, we use Heinz gravy. Like, that's the one thing of Heinz that we have in the house that I, I, I like it too. Mm -hmm. It's a thinner gravy. You guys pr probably wouldn't like it because gravy is hard to make. It's hard to make good gravy. Um, but I'm sure he'll show it. If he does, it's the chicken one. That's but the one we use with, all the we, time. Yeah, and we use it with turkey. Um, mm -hmm. We use it on mashed potatoes. It's really good. I don't know if you'll have it there. Um, if you do, we highly recommend trying it if you haven't already. Definitely but, easier than trying to make your own. Yeah, and it's just it's just easy. You know, it's it's a quick thing, but it's really good. It's just too th I don't like the thinness of it. If it was thicker, I'd like it more. Yeah. Mashed potatoes and sometimes turkey. It's like a brown sauce, sometimes a white sauce. You can also get biscuits and gravy for breakfast, mm. which is fantastic. Yeah, that sauce is white. Like no. We got a lot of different variations of gravy. Show it. I can't be the US gravy ambassador. <laughs> All right, I didn't ask for this job. At no point in the interview, there was like, well, you know a lot about gravies, right? And if I said I did, I lied, all right? <laughs> ah, please revoke my gravy ambassador status. And I'm sorry for deceiving the people of Food Insider. Heinz homestyle gravy with mushroom. Not There's bad. mushrooms in it. I see gravy twice a year, once at Thanksgiving and once when I go to Jollibee. And then you got the savory beef gravy. Nope. Bistro Aju. No. Signature gravy, rich and savory, made with roasted turkey. Let's go. No, not that one. We got the country style sausage gravy. I see ours. This goes, yeah, see, so he's pouring it on biscuits. Sausage it's gravy. It's a breakfast. It's a breakfast. Nothing in the front, though. It comes with a country know. sausage and hash browns. Oh, no, that gravy. would be bad. Joe, I don't know what that, that is, but that is not great. It's it horrific. Especially that creamy stuff. Like, why is it white? Gravy should never be white. Classic chicken gravy. Oh, this is like not white. That's the one right there he's holding. Don't yeah. be mean to it, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> it's more of like a khaki colored Yeah, gravy. but it's good. Now that isn't even close to the amount of gravies you can get in the US. Yeah, we have a lot I went to several grocery stores, several, looking for these gravies, as many as I could find. So I'm gonna rattle off the list. Signature rich and savory gravy with real roasted chicken, the home style brown with onion gravy, Heinz homestyle classic chicken fat free gravy, mm -hmm. homestyle pork gravy, and last but not least, homestyle savory beef fat free gravy. Why are you buying gravy for eating? Richard's gravy is either made from no the juices idea. and drippings of a roast dinner or made by adding water to some gravy granules. Not a Heinz brand, just a good brand. I like this stuff. We have that Thankfully, we don't have any of that American gravy in the UK, but what we do have is salad cream, or salad queen, as it's currently called in honor of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. It's just what Liz would have wanted, I'm sure. Now, Americans, don't be alarmed by salad cream. I know the name sounds a little off-putting, right. but it's actually not that bad. It's basically just mayo that they've added some kind of vinegar and also a little bit of sugar to. So it's kind of like a tangy mayo, which you can add to your salads or to your sandwiches. What? That's what that was? Yeah. Should we put Might our coats awesome. on and go back and get all uh, the <laughs> source clothes? I want to try it now. Is that good on burgers? Like, we don't eat beef, but we eat, like, fake burgers. And mm -hmm. then we, like, you know. Turkey burgers. Turkey burgers. Well, I'm not, and then we eat, like, the um the fake meat crap. Yeah. But is that good? What about, like, on a turkey sandwich or something? You know, just a sandwich? Could be good. It might be a little. Let us know. Sweet and tangy-ish. Well, that's what I'm hoping they'll let us know. Because <laughs> I want to know if I should buy it and give it a shot. I feel like with Americans, some of the things that they pass off as salads, they have no right to criticize a salad cream. I don't eat salads. So. I think it's like ambrosia salad in America, which is basically just loads of mayo. <laughs> That's anyway. dessert. Pickles. Did he say that tasted like that? <laughs> no. He's talking about that. How do you call that a salad? It's not that nasty. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a dessert. But that stuff's still gross. I think relish is just okay. Not a fan of pickles. Uh, the hot dog relish. Why is it this color? Why? <laughs> if I got a hot dog and they put this relish on it, I'd be like, yeah, you're making it again without that. Yeah, that does look weird. Dill relish, right? Just that looks a little bit more normal. From dill pickles, or they added dill to it. What do you think? Burger fans, get yourself a hamburger dill chips. Mm -hmm. Other pickle yeah. stroke relish options that we have here in the US are genuine, whole, original, sour dill pickles, spicy garlic chips with garlic and red pepper, sweet and spicy chips with crushed red pepper, 
Sweet gherkins. Yes, love those. We don't have Heinz pickles in the UK, but we do have really? Heinz pickle. This is an important distinction huh. to make in the UK, is if you ask for just pickle singular on your sandwich, you'll end up with this. Okay, yeah. This is an iconic British condiment, which is either served as part of your plowman's lunch or on a sandwich like a cheese and pickle. It's a thick condiment made with some cooked vegetables like carrots, swedes, cauliflower, and onions, hmm. all served in this kind of thick, tangy sauce. So is that like Branston pickle then? I assume just the Heinz version? Well, I know you don't yeah. know, but I'm asking for that. <laughs> I'm looking Curious. at you. Sorry, I'm asking. I'm Curious. like looking your direction. And then, um, so I, f I forgot that when we say pickle, we're referring to what you would say as gherkin. Because mm -hmm. we don't really pickle much other things. And if we, well, we really don't. If we do, we'd yeah. say it's a pickled egg or right, um, or a pickled whatever. Um, but yeah, we would just say pickle for what you would say gherkin. If you didn't already know that, you probably did. We also have Heinz Piccalilli in the UK. It's sort of similar to I'll Plowman's Pickle in that it's a spreadable condiment with good. some crunchy like vegetables it. inside, but it's also different because it's got the mustard base, which mm -hmm. gives it this distinctive yellow yeah, color. Yeah, I don't like mustard. I will say it's like kind that. of an old person's condiment. I don't think you'll really see anyone under the age of like 50 or so in the UK <laughs> rushing for the Piccalilli, but it is. <laughs> well, I fit right in. I'm over 50, so. Well, I'm not, and I'll eat it with you sometimes. Well, we can go together and... Try it on a hot dog. That's what she yeah. did, and it was actually quite good, and I don't like mustard. But that was good. It's like having your pickle relish mm -hmm. and mustard. And mustard. Together. It's the same thing yeah. if you just, that's what it is. So it's tasty. Next up, Heinz US offers a bunch of specialty sauces. Heinz 57 sauce. Real talk. I've mm -hmm. never heard of this before this video. video. Really? It says no, it's zest zest chicken. chicken steak or pork. Isn't going to sound like a weird thing to say, but doesn't this look really good? So mm -hmm. let's find out. Let's try it. First, the snip you test. You do that without having food. I like how it on. smells. I like how it smells. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Yeah, that's really good. I, that one. I can't place my finger on exactly what it is. Ah, secret blend of premium herbs and spices. Oh man, it's like liquid KFC. It's like 57 spices. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredients, I think, right? It's like, like a mustard base, but like a sweeter, zestier like punctuation to it. <gasps> Ooh, Heinz 57. Chili sauce. I gotta say, Heinz, don't be putting this great on burgers and fries. Don't tell me to put my sauce on. I'll brush my teeth with this if I want to. You ain't gonna stop me. <laughs> I'm hilarious. Yeah. Mm. That would be great on my burgers or and or fries. No. The Heinz original <laughs> cocktail sauce. I'm not opening this. You know, shrimp, you get it. Cocktails. I have no opinion on cocktail sauce. Yeah. Worcester sauce. Couldn't get my hands on it. I do think that's weird that Heinz also makes his own wor Worcester sauce? Worcester? Worcester. Is that right? <laughs> Now they also own Leah and Perrins. So are they competing against themselves? I don't think so. I think they just bought it because they're Heinz. You think like, I'm well, not Leah and Perrins, not Leah Perrins. Mm. Pretty sure I'm right. Tell me if I'm right. No, I'm scared. Why don't I do this to myself? <laughs> and the Heinz Worcester sauce. I'm getting the Leah <laughs> and Perrins. Worcester sauce. Not jokes on you. Heinz gets paid on all that. Firstly, that should be speciality sauces with the extra eye. And secondly, in the UK, we also have a range of speciality sauces. Before he goes on, I will say though, he didn't show the regular A1, but you know, we had talked about this when we tried the HP uh -huh. sauce. Yep. They really are yeah, very they are quite you, similar. Yeah, if you haven't had them, they virtually taste the same. Mm -hmm. The only thing I noticed was with the HP sauce, has more of a ketchup base to yeah. it. And Heinz um, A1 sauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm like, what are we talking about? Um, like, which sauce is which? There's too many. It is more vinegary. Okay, vinegary. Yeah, yeah I'm and, good um, with that. I did. Debbie can tell you, I tried HP sauce on everything. Yeah, she did. Fried egg sandwich, just a regular mm -hmm. turkey sandwich. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember everything, but I tried yep. it on so many things. So it's the same. I'm kind of a professional now. You are the HP, HP sauce. expert. Yeah. House of the Parliament. I know that too. <laughs> an American style smoky baconese sauce and also an American style burger sauce. We have Does that actually look nice. or feel American to you, Joe? Yes, that looks like sauce that we potentially have. Then we have a Thai style sweet chili sauce. British people love Thai sweet chili sauce. I don't know where that association came from, but I'm not even playing because it's delicious. Then we have a Turkish style garlic sauce. I think this is kind of a nod to the Turkish style kebab shops, which are so popular in the UK. Yeah. Drunk kebab is one of the best here. Yeah. in life. Kebab Speaking shops. of drunk food, yeah. we also have Heinz curry sauce in the UK. You don't have to be drunk to enjoy it, but it does help. Cheesy chips and curry sauce is a big British hit. Really? Next up, we have a spiced pineapple chutney, as well as a North African style spicy kebab sauce made with chili and onion. Why doesn't ketchup and mustard come in the same bottle? We all exclaim to the heavens. Apparently, Heinz has a whole thing called sauces mixed by Heinz. 
because God forbid you just do it yourself. <laughs> Some of these, I mean, I didn't even know you wanted them together to begin with. Who knows how they figured this out? Honey Racha. Honey Racha, what do you think that is? Sriracha. Surely you watching at home understand the value of having a bottle of Sriracha and a bottle of honey. Mm -hmm. The amount of times you mix them must pale in comparison the amount of times you don't need to mix them. Right? Actually, that, that's pretty good, though. <laughs> then we got mayo chip. <laughs> no, that's so gross. Yeah. If, mayo and ketchup my together at last. If you guys are liking this video, please hit the like button and let us know, do you eat, which ones you eat, which ones do you like, which ones do you hate? Are you mm. a ketchup fan or are you not? Mayonnaise? No. What is your favorite and what do you like on, what is the best of the best that you put on whatever? And, you know, what's the best sauce to put on what food? Let us yeah. know. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Oh, God. He's grossing nope. me out. Even by these standards, it's really bad. Up next. Oh, he didn't like that because. Yeah. Cranch. 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 <laughs> it's called ranch and ketchup. Two things Why? I never combine. I'm embarrassed no. by our country oh, right now. Chunks of shit in it, too. It's like some kid making. Oh, this one. Okay. I mean, Heinz is an American Both the company. Ketchup so. connection ones. This tastes almost exactly like ranch, and the ketchup mayo one. Was it mayo chip? Tastes just like mayo. Buffalo ranch. I'll concede. Buffalo the same, ranch but... and the same thing. I understand this one. Let me go with wings. Oh, that was the bottle, not me. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> that was me. I went from hating this to loving it in like two seconds. <laughs> this might be genius. I'm taking this one. This is actually pretty good. And this would go really good on any potatoes or fries, of course, on chicken. Oh my God, with popcorn chicken, this would be ideal. Oh my God, <laughs> mayo must. Ew, mayo must. What's that? This mustard. Must you know, it's like it tastes like a creamy, a creamy uh, mustard. You can also get yourself <laughs> a mayo racha sauce. And, oh god, and this last one. Come on, guys. Sweet cat chili sauce, <laughs> which I'm assuming is sweet ketchup and chili sauce. I'm done. It is embarrassing how much it's crap stuff we throw together. To... It's just well, it's also <laughs> Heinz is so damn greedy. Good gosh. Just make it all. Yeah. Goodness. It just it seems gross. I'm not a sauce person in general, but I like what I like. Mm. And uh, this is way too many options, and I'm glad I yeah, don't go to the grocery with you very often. <laughs> <sighs> I hear you, buddy. We only have one pre-mixed sauce option in the UK. No, we have one. You have saucy one. Sauce. Saucy sauce. I'm not sure why they've gone with this name instead of mayo chop, because as far as I can see, it is just mayo and ketchup combined. Mm. Nothing. I guarantee there's somebody that watches our channel whose handle or YouTube name is Saucy Sauce. <laughs> <laughs> worth touching upon is HP versus A1 sauce. The great HP A1 divide. I mean, that's literally like a, a, a rip through the Atlantic Ocean. I'm not gonna say. It's a sauce that's meant to be on meat, mostly steak and hamburgers. In the UK, Heinz produces another iconic condiment, HP sauce. It's a sauce which is also designed to be enjoyed with meats like sausages or on your bacon sandwich. I'm more of a ketchup on the bacon sandwich guy, but you do you. You have to understand that when A1 sauce dropped, it was that time in the 80s where marketing was so crazy effective. Yep. Obviously, there's right. no internet. So we all watched the same five to 10 channels. Mm -hmm. and you couldn't look at a TV without seeing an A1 steak sauce commercial yep. from like so 1985 true. to 1989. Ta-da! A1 steak sauce, and it was on the table, and we, and we just put it on and like, you know, licking the knife. I don't like, like it. Oh yeah, A1, look at us, we got A1. This sh is nasty. Thank you. I'm not nostalgic <laughs> for it, I don't like it. I don't put sauces yeah. on meats like steak. Me neither. Bernays sauce though. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. It's so tangy. HP sauce is better than this. I forgot to bring my bottle. It is better. To give you an idea of just how British this sauce is, so HP actually stands for Houses of Parliament, as you can <clears> maybe infer from the fact that they are right there on the label. HP sauce is part of a subcategory of sauces in the UK which are called brown sauces. While it might not sound very appetizing, it's really popular in the UK, as evidenced by the fact that it's not even the only brown sauce Kraft Heinz produces. We also have Daddy's brown sauce. Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Daddy's. And that's why we don't have don't that here. Don't touch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good name for it. Mm. Daddy's brown sauce. Daddy's brown sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Say nothing and move on. This is a real thing. It wouldn't be a Heinz episode unless I talked about baked beans. In the UK, mm. Heinz doesn't just manufacture condiments, but also an enormous range of canned goods. The most iconic of these is probably Heinz beans. I'd say Heinz is probably the gold standard for baked beans in the UK. Really? As you may know, British people love to eat baked beans with a range of dishes, including a full English breakfast, sausage mash and beans, fish fingers, chips and beans, and of course, beans on toast. Yeah. Baked beans. So I'm going to say it right off the bat. Gonna show my Americanness right now. Beans for breakfast sounds absurd. Now, granted, we have 
sausage gravy on potatoes, and chicken fried steak. Which is so awesome. So I know that our breakfasts are very questionable. Beans for breakfast, like beans, beans on toast? No, 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 no. No, thank you. <laughs> My only issue with Heinz beans is- So I have to be with him, unfortunately. And if you guys saw, we did try that in one of our first videos, we did. And I was honest then. Some people get mad at me for my honesty, but I don't care. I'm sure. gonna be honest. I don't like the Heinz beans, the UK version. Um, I don't like beans on toast. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. You know me to just lie to you. And I kind of liked them, so. Yeah, and that's fine. I like our baked beans, American baked beans, which are totally different. We don't have that ketchup base. It's more of like a brown sugar. Yeah. Um, and something you'd have as a side when you're grilling out and having burgers and things like that. And a hot dog with a uh, piccolo. Mm -hmm. um, I don't like hot dogs, but I will eat one with piccolo because it makes it better. Yeah. But um, Bush's is the brand, uh, mm -hmm. Bush's Baked Beans, that yep. are the, the go-to here, not Heinz. Right. Um, I didn't even know Heinz made beans because they, I don't think they, do they make a baked bean? Mm -hmm. American version? Mm -hmm. Really? I, I'm pretty sure they make a baked one. Okay, then no. Is the Please stupid don't hate me. beans with a Z spelling. I think it was part of some marketing campaign from back in like the 80s or the 70s and they just never let it go. But I will say British beans are generally served in quite a sweet tomatoey sauce. Yeah. It does go with quite a few dishes. So you know what? I, I don't like American it, beans are like different. Tomatoes. Yeah, beans like here, like they're baked. They usually come in like a, 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 a barbecue sauce or a barbecue-like sauce. You get them at barbecue places, right? Like picnic food, right? Yes. Beans aren't even the only canned goods that Heinz sells in the UK. They have a huge range of soups, canned pastas and more. Heinz soups are pretty highly regarded in the UK. Hmm. I like the big soups because I feel you like a standard those? can of soup isn't enough no, for an actual no. meal. But some of the other flavors are Didn't really good. Didn't know you that? I didn't know tomato, can't really be beaten. Heinz canned pastas don't have quite the same reputation, but I will fight to the death to defend the beef ravioli. I ate so much of that growing up, and I still have such a strong nostalgic attachment to it that if anyone criticizes it, you know where to find me. I won't. And there are even more food options from Heinz in the UK, including jars of pasta sauce, salad dressings, and veggie burger options. Heinz covers so many product areas in the UK that they even have a huge range of baby foods. What? Wow. I picked up this peach, mango, banana, and apple one because it sounds delicious, mm. and I am technically older than four months, so I think I can eat this. You can. <laughs> he looks ridiculous eating it, though. Oh, here we go. Here's everything. Brace yourself. Heinz ketchup in the U.S. Sugar, Tomato sugar. concentrate from red ripe tomatoes, distilled vinegar, high fructose <laughs> corn syrup, corn syrup, salt, spice, onion powder, natural flavoring. Here's everything on the ingredients list for ketchup in the UK. Tomatoes, spirit vinegar, sugar, salt, spice and herb extracts contain celery and spice. Is anyone there surprised? are a few obvious differences between the two lists. The spices listed are slightly different, with ours explicitly containing onion powder. That's not to say the UK's doesn't also contain onion powder, as it may just fall under the spice and Probably herb extract yeah. subcategory in the UK. Our label also explicitly lists celery as an ingredient, mm. largely for allergen purposes. Oh, okay. In the US, our ketchup is sweetened with both corn syrup and high fructose corn syrup, while the UK, they just sweeten theirs with sugar. Americans put corn syrup in absolutely everything because it's cheaper for food producers to use when compared to real sugar. That's because corn farmers in the US receive huge subsidies from the government, more than 116 billion since 1995, leading to massive corn production. We also have tariffs which make it more expensive to import real sugar. There isn't really a health difference when comparing the consumption of sugar and corn syrup. I was just going to say that. I am so tired of people saying corn syrup, it's really no different. Right. Um, so, there, done. I'm glad yeah. that the British gentleman said it. There you go. Thank you, sir. But there can be a discernible taste difference. For example, American Coca-Cola is flavored with high fructose corn syrup, while Mexican Coke is flavored with sugar. Correct. When comparing the taste of the two, some people said that the American version was an even sweeter taste, but also had a slightly chemical flavor. Are there any other- and Debbie and I have had Mexican Coke. We've had mm -hmm. regular Coke, of course. We have. And um, I actually, I think it goes back to your palate, though. What are you used to? Exactly. You're gonna you're usually to. like what you're used to. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. So, like, our no Fanta is different here than it is there. Mm hmm And I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to like ours, and you're going to like yours. Exactly. Just, but just you grew up with it. It's what I, you know. And, and don't be mad at me for not liking the beans on toast. <laughs> Please don't be mad at me. I just want to be honest with you guys. I don't want to... I don't want to stroke your egos to make you like us. I want you to like us if you like us for who we are. That's right. That's all. And we are who we are. So, I'm going to be honest with you ingredients to look out for across Heinz product range. In the U.S., we have pickles that contain polysorbate 80, a chemical used in foods like pickles and ice cream as an emulsifier and a solubilizer. A solubilizer. What's that have to do with Solubilizer? This? Solubilizer. <laughs> the bad news is that studies have suggested it can cause colon cancer in mice. You know what that means. Give me them dancing rats.
Also in the US are Heinz Colors, it's sausage gravy with titanium dioxide. This is a white dye most commonly used in paints and varnishes. Delicious. Its use in food is controversial. Studies show it has harmful effects on animals during scientific tests, leading the European Union to ban it from use in foods starting in August of 2022. Due to Brexit, however, the UK is no longer bound by EU rules. I was just going to say that. Unfortunately for Brits and Americans, our respective food safety authorities have actually disagreed with the EU ruling, so we may still see titanium dioxide popping up in our food. Okay, so before anybody starts coming in the comments and saying stuff about it, you have a lot of the same stuff. And I don't remember what it was, but the, you guys do have high fructose corn syrup. It's just a different name. I looked this up after we did yeah. the McDonald's video. You do have it in a lot of your foods. It just has mm -hmm. a different name to it. And I cannot now remember because that was video. We did that many, many yeah. months ago. But you do have it. Not in everything, but more in than you think. Things. Yeah. Um, not as often as we do. But um, but interesting that that's in both things. And mm -hmm. another interesting thought fact of the EU and the Brexit thing. I didn't think about that. Right. The, the food ingredients and things like that also being different. Of course. Who knew? This video is fascinating and so much we're learning about. Very informative. Here's everything in 100 <laughs> grams of original ketchup in the UK. 102 calories, 0.1 grams of total fat, of which 0 grams are saturates, 23.2 grams of carbs, of which 22.8 grams are sugars, and 720 milligrams of sodium. Here's everything in 100 grams of ketchup in the US. 117 calories, no fat, 29.4 well, carbs, and of that, 23.5 grams of that is sugar, and the sodium is 941 milligrams. Other than the trace amounts of fat in the UK ketchup, the US stats are higher in every category. Now, these much. stats are for 100 grams of ketchup, which is roughly five times the recommended serving size, which is one tablespoon. That's still a surprising amount of sugar and sodium. Just 100 grams of ketchup in the U.S. contain almost half your daily sugar allowance, as well as 40% of your daily sodium. But it's very it's little. Checking out the high, serving it's size, because companies have a right. habit of underestimating these. Let's bring back the serving size we measured earlier. I still think that's a little bit smaller than what I'd normally add to my that's plate. So I'm going to add some more to it and then figure out the stats for what I think is a realistic serving size. I agree with that. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's mm -hmm. unrealistic. Judge me if you want. That's actually more than double the recommended serving size, coming in at around 31 grams. Let's figure it out. Okay, so if I had fries, I'd probably go. Not that long. Right? This is 20 grams. Uh, that doesn't seem so bad. And also, I don't I don't think I'm eating I don't think I'm eating all that. I don't think all of this is getting my body. I think mm -hmm. this could be smeared around and so here Maybe. in America, not concerned. <laughs> I like pickled onion. I like pickled lily. That pickled was good. cabbage is all right with bubbling yeah. on a Friday night. Not that we ever heard the song. Tomatoes, but what I do prefer is a little bit of I come, you come, we come, a little bit of cucumber. Oi! We don't have that song, but I don't know if that's a commercial for Pickle Lily. I enjoyed that video more than I thought I would. I did too. <laughs> I'm like, hiding stuff. It's very hmm. interesting to see the different um, it is. stuff that each each of us have. Yeah. Uh, a lot and more canned goods and soups and pot and pasta yeah. stuff over there. Yeah, we don't have... Is it surprising to you guys? Like, Let us know in the comments what surprised you about this video. Yeah, the soups, we don't have those. I didn't know Heinz made soups. Nope. If you guys like this video, please... Hit the like button. We want to know your thoughts on it, though. What are your favorite Heinz products? Do you even like Heinz products? Mm -hmm. um, personally, myself, not a huge fan. Um, my dad loved A1 sauce when we were kids, and I think that's probably one of the reasons I hate it. Um, yeah, it really hides the flavor of the, the steak or yeah, whatever that you're eating. It's yeah. just so overpowering. Unnecessary, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Um, I do like HP sauce, but unfortunately, because I put it on so many different things in like a week, Mm -hmm. I kind of burned myself out on it, like I did with scotch eggs last year, which is sad. True. But I will come back to it. I mean, we still have some in the refrigerator. Um, you love pickle lily. That's, that's, I would say you're probably your favorite Heinz product, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's probably the... You have American yep. stuff? I do want to try the salad, um, the Heinz salad. Salad cream? Is it the vegan salad or salad queen? Salad cream. Salad cream. Ours was called salad cream, I think, that we saw. Mm -hmm. We showed you guys just before that. And that doesn't say that, so I wonder what the difference is. He said they named it Salad Queen. Oh, for the, the, for the Jubilee. I missed yes. that part. Okay. So yeah. I want to try it. Let me know if I should. I'm not buying it until you guys tell me if I should try it. Mm -hmm. Remember, I love mayonnaise. All right. It's up to you guys. <sighs> well, thank you guys so much for watching today. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. We will be back on Friday. Wait, what day is this? Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> Anybody know what day this is? It's Wednesday. <laughs> so we'll be back Friday. <laughs> and until then, guys... Love like Jess. Be as strong as Tyson. Goodbye. Bye.